Here are today's top headlines. The top designers announced their top choices for the best new concept and production cars at the Detroit Auto Show. Tesla announces it's going to start selling EV propulsion systems to other automakers. And the big news in materials at the show all has to do with the Castor Bean plant. Up next, we'll be back with the news behind the headlines. This is AutoLine Daily for Wednesday, January 14, 2009, and now the news that came out of yesterday's Detroit Auto Show. And yesterday was the day some of the top designers walked the floor of the show, making their choices for what they think are the best new production cars and concept cars that were introduced at the North American International Auto Show. That list of designers, by the way, included some very big luminaries like Tom Gale, the former designer at Chrysler, Chris Bangle, the head of design at BMW, Willie G. Davidson from Harley Davidson, Franz von Holzhausen from Tesla, Fabrizio Giugiaro from Ital Design, Ralph Gilles from Chrysler, and a number of others, too many to name here. Their top choices for the best concept cars at the show include the Cadillac Converge, a stunning two-door vehicle that was unveiled here, as well as the Audi Sportback sedan, which insiders tell me is actually going to be the new Audi A7. In terms of production cars, the designers chose the Audi A8 V10 as well as the brand new BMW Z4. This design award is organized by Eyes on Design and it's the only design award of its kind at any auto show in the world. In other news coming from the Detroit Auto Show, Tesla announced it will start selling EV electric vehicle propulsion systems to any other automaker who might happen to want to buy them. And it turns out there is an automaker that's doing that, but shh, that automaker will not tell the world what it's doing. Mercedes-Benz is buying its electric vehicle propulsion system for the smart electric car from Tesla. I got that news from Tesla because Mercedes is not breathing a word about that. And up next, we'll talk about the news that came from the suppliers who are exhibiting at the show. Siemens, transforming the process of innovation. In keeping with the green theme at this Detroit Auto Show, two suppliers had big announcements yesterday, and it all has to do with a plant, the Castor Bean plant. Denso came out with a new kind of radiator that's made from a resin that's derived from that castor bean plant. And over at Johnson Controls, they announced that they're coming out with a new kind of foam to make seats, also from the castor bean plant. The reason that they're going with this is, as that plant grows, it absorbs CO2, so they can argue that this material actually reduces CO2 for what they're using it for by 30%. On top of that, it's also more recyclable. Also at JCI, it announced that it's got a five-year agreement with a company called Azure Dynamics to start making hybrid electric vehicles, but for commercial vans and trucks, part of the market that hasn't been tapped yet by any other automaker. And that's it for the top news coming from the Detroit Auto Show. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.